back-to-back games. The evolved with the pitch. Now Ross is going to throw, has a man wide open. That's Latif Bradley. He's down the sideline, roped down at the 40-yard line. I knew he'd have a hip or dipper. A few more coming up. Gil Ross, the sophomore, a, is the backup quarterback. And that time they utilize him as the quarterback off the pitch. You know, they hadn't shown that all year. So there was no way that uh, Alex was going to be able to be prepared for it. You can't prepare for something you haven't seen. And here it is, and he's as wide open as you can ever expect to get. Fact is, he had to stop and wait for the ball. Had he not had to stop, he might have made it in. Bradley, a sophomore, receiving the pass from Ross, a sophomore. There are a lot of youngsters in the starting lineup, and uh, that gives hope for the future. Bradley... Now his sixth catch of the year and uh, shaken up on the sideline. We're going to take a look at the tail end of that play and let's take a look and see if we can see what happens with his left leg. Oh, he gets really stretched out, bends at a bad angle. Yeah, I think he'll be all right, though. It doesn't look like there's anything real traumatic that takes place. And he's slow getting to his feet on the far sideline he's up now he's up he's up and walking. well we hope that that sophomore is not seriously injured and that if he's not able to come back this game at least he'll be able to see action on Thanksgiving Day against Glen Ridge Bill after you left that became the Thanksgiving Day rivalry you did not play football on Thanksgiving no we didn't I don't know a coach of that school just didn't want to play on Thanksgiving Day did you know that <laughs> He had a son, he wanted to watch him play on Thanksgiving. It was the one game that he, he could watch his son play. Theobald uh, on that, the draw. There's that quarterback draw again. He uh, made it a little more pronounced that time. Didn't find room to run, though. Wrapped up by Newman. Newman, a senior, 6'1", 198 pounds. Two-yard pickup, second down and eight. Well, after that coach became the athletic director, the coach who replaced him said, let's play some Thanksgiving football. Rich Sanfilippo replacing the great Bill Horry. Theobald hoping to get to the outside. There's another quarterback that likes contact, Theobald. Uh, he's a big kid, 6'3", 190 pounds. As I said, uh, he is the last of the Theobald family to come through Immaculate Conception. There have been a lot of fine football players, his Third brothers preceding him. Third and one now, and you know, if Immaculate can get in for a score, they've got hopes. They can retain respectability. His brothers, Pete, Paul, and Chris preceding him as football players, all told six boys and a girl in the family, and they're all graduates. Theobald keeps it. Theobald has the first down. So a little bit of hope here for the Lions. There's still time left, 2.32 in the first half remaining. And they're moving the ball. One timeout. They used two timeouts. They used two timeouts on the uh, last Verona touchdown. John Finnegan hoping his club can put one home and give his team some hope at halftime. I got a feeling we're going to see another hip or dipper. Someplace along the line, we're going to see something unusual. At halftime, the Verona band will be performing for us. We invite you to stay with us at halftime as Theobald has some room as he rolls outside. Close to a first down. He's ridden out of bounds, so the clock stops with 1.57 to play. Well, that was a good call. He got out of bounds. He didn't waste too much time. Picked up about nine yards, close to a first down. They're there within striking distance. They overloaded that side, and that was a predetermined rollout. There's no pass, no pass attempt that time. They're just going to run the ball, and they didn't care who knew it. They just lined up three men on the right side, tight end and, and two flankers. And an official's timeout taken. Not sure what the uh, delay is, but at any rate, we get the word from the sideline that Latif Bradley, and you see him there sitting down, suffered a groin pull. Is that right? 
And not sure if he'll be back, but at least a groin pull is not nearly as serious as a knee injury, which uh, at first was feared. The sophomore trying to... And the delay was caused by an equipment malfunction by the nose guard. The sophomore hoping to get back in, disappointed on the bench there. The ball is loose on the ground, and Theobald had to reach out to grab it. Surprising that there's been some problems on the exchange. I mean, Theobald, though this is his first year at quarterback, it is the eighth game that he's playing. And Kevin Connor, the center, is in his third year as a starter. Last year, he was a second team, all Colonial Hills Conference selection. It's also an interesting story in that he has been selected as Mr. Immaculate Conception, Mr. IC, and he, along with Miss IC, lead off uh, all assemblies and what have you with the prayer. So he's a good student. He's popular in the school. But again, they're having a little bit of a problem with the exchange. Timeout called by Immaculate. They call their final timeout. So the clock is stalled with 1.35 to go in the first half. Beautiful fall afternoon here in Verona, high on the hill. Is and that their third timeout? Yeah, that is their third and final timeout. And since they've called one, we'll take one. We'll be back. 135 remaining in the first half. 21-0, the Hillbillies on top. 